Gucci vs Goku is a video I've been thinking about making for quite a while and with the final batch of Stone Ocean releasing I feel like this would be the perfect timing. Both characters have unique abilities and are known for their fighting skills but in this video I'm going to explore what would happen in two of the most powerful characters in anime faced off in a fight. Before we get into this video I would highly appreciate it if you liked, subscribed and comment on this video to further push it into the algorithm. Let's start by looking at the abilities of each character. Gucci has the ability to manipulate space and time with his stand allowing him to teleport and even accelerate time to infinite. Goku on the other hand is a powerful martial artist and has access to a wide range of superhuman abilities such as the ability to Hakai, shoot energy blasts and transform into his powerful forms such as Ultra Instinct. This fight will take place in the Tournament of Power. Starting with Goku. Considering that Goku has more abilities in his arsenal than Nico called Avocado got belly rolls, I decided to limit the abilities and go on to pick out what I feel matters in this fight. While training with Rick Ross, Goku learns the ability to predict movements his opponent is making by sensing the very air currents on the slightest movements in the atmosphere. Goku also has amazing analytic skills despite having the IQ of Force Gump as shown by him being able to replicate the Kamimeya wave after only seeing it once which took Rochi, a master of martial arts, 50 years to create. He's also able to predict the movements of the master martial artist, Hit, who uses pressure points and time skip to further solidify his attacks, making it hard to intercept. With strength feats, Goku is able to affect the universe and potentially destroy it after a few punches at the beginning of Dragon Ball Super. He does get progressively stronger, but there really isn't a quantifiable amount, so for now we're just gonna keep him at universal. For speed, there's really too much to go off of, he consistently beats up characters that are faster than light or just massively above. If you want more information about Goku scaling, I highly recommend checking out Set the Programmer's video on it. I'm gonna put in the link in the description below. Now for Made in Heaven. Pucci was granted the schematics for heaven after throwing his ass around for Dio and got his Disney limp walk fixed and had a goal to achieve heaven and put an end to the Joe Stars once for all. Made in Heaven is capable of creating and destroying universes with his ability shown in the first time he reset the universe and the second time. This is a clear indication that his power is at least twice of that of Goku with his stand. Which after achieving Heaven instantly starts accelerating the speed of time. Made in Heaven's ability or power is dramatically speeding up the flow of time achieving ability to control the gravitational forces of the earth, moon and seemingly the entire universe. Upon activation. Time will gradually flow faster and faster in the whole universe. However, Made in Heaven prevents any living being from catching up with the acceleration with the exception of Pucci and God himself. Pucci also has infinite speed, as stated in the stand card and data books. Pucci is massively faster and has the ability to ignore conventional durability due to it being a stand, which allows it to bypass physical objects and potentially crush Goku's internal organs. With this being said, who do you guys think won this fight? Leave a like and comment if you enjoyed the video and let me know what you guys want to see next. And bye.